Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, the big G-O-D, the biggest Lotto. If you are keen or interested in booking me for my services, I do offer dream interpretations, love readings, spiritual path readings, as well as messages from God. I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions via Zoom call, FaceTime, Skype, as well as WhatsApp video call. Let us tap in and find out why we spiritually live here. What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? Camera, all right, camera, 
So people, um, that person that has been following you has certain pictures, all right, that they take, either they take them where you are at in your home or when you are out and about doing your thing in this life, all right? So the people that have been hired, bribed, and, you know, the people that have been under someone's money spell here because someone is using money in a form of manipulation and that is spell work all right it's just in a 3d level in a 3d form so this particular individual they want you in lack they want you to be the type of person that you don't you can't fend for yourself all right they want you to be in a certain position to be like a beggar or someone that goes from something to nothing abruptly like all of a sudden your, your, your things just go soft all of a sudden you are not in alignment with the vibration you are once in alignment with when it comes to your financial credibility. And this is what someone wanted to pursue upon your life. And it's a constant, ruthless pursuit. Because this person is someone that isn't right in the mind. They don't function well. They're very filthy, spirited. It's like their spiritual stench reeks of forms of desperation, forms of power tools that they utilize, addictions, um, temptations, someone that here is controlled by the devil spirit, which is any negative form of an entity, all right? This is someone here that is troubled. They ain't right, like, they're troubled in a way that they just, they are not right, they don't function normally. Someone's mind here is not right. Someone's mental game is very weak. This person, they want you to be, like, someone wants you to be stuck in a certain paradigm of life where you are no longer even able to buy anything in your name or have anything in your name, all right? So, this person, they've been trying to do it, like, on some underground energy where they're trying to be as discreet and as... silent with it all right it's like this person if you know about their whereabouts or in terms of you knowing about their deeds towards you this was something they never planned on this was something they've, they've been trying to avoid from day one you figuring them out or you knowing what they're doing to you this is someone who has been trying to avoid that circumstance of being where you know and they're just sick and still doing what they're doing to you. Because now this person is finding it difficult to keep doing what they're doing because you know. Because now it's clear that they're just sickly. Someone that is not in line with themselves and they need proper help. And they're coming after somebody like you because they have some form of personal vendetta against you. Like this person wants to frame you and give you like, like frame you and get you arrested so that you have a guilty verdict. And this is like things that you don't know. Like, it's like I'm seeing a vision, right? So take this vision as an analogy, a reference point, a case study, an example where you end up in a situation where you get taken abruptly by someone, right? And let's say after you were taken, you are dropped off at a certain location. This is just an example, all right? It's indirect. It doesn't mean this will come to pass. This reference point, this case study, this analogy, this example is to tie down this message to help you understand what kind of compromising situation somebody wants to put you in and why they want to get you arrested here. So it's basically like, Imagine you get taken abruptly and you end up in a specific location. It's not like a hideout, but it's, some, it's somewhere where it's far away from the rest of reality, at least your reality, which you are, which you are it's like being taken from what you know and being put in a, in, a, in a different, like maybe across borders, across the border of where you are at. And... Maybe you, you were taken and now you, you are unconscious. I don't know. 
what would be the resultants of that. But you are unconscious and you wake up in consciousness. Now you're in a specific place you know nothing about. And you get put in a situation where it's a staged criminal activity. It's like, oh, that's exactly that. Staged criminal activity. Someone wants to get you red-handed and caught up in something you didn't do. But they want to put your belongings, whatever they brought people for, either belongings or information or items here. They want to use those things to fight their battle, to get you where they want you. To frame you and have you arrested. It could be something as treacherous as murder. Yeah, Eight of Swords. This is someone that wants you to have no way out. All right, the chariot reversed. They want you to be panicking and thinking that your life is over. All right, but that's never gonna happen, gotta say, because this has been an ongoing plan. And if it was supposed to be of succession, this person would have already conquered you. But I feel like this is someone in an insurmountable position where they feel like you are not someone that can easily be caught up in things like this. They feel like your things are too clean or you move too discreet or you're someone that has things in a way that no one can really, it's like risky for this person to try and do what they do to you without them ending up on the other end of the stick with it. This person, though, we have the King of Pentacles here. The Tower. It's like I'm seeing uh, police officials that are bribed here, staff members, or right, taking out residence for your reality and your world, beloved. People that a bribe to do certain things, hired, you know, a paid actress to come in and pretend like they need you to help them with something, and then they take you somewhere and you end up in a compromising position because of the situation that you are being placed in. It's like staged, something is highly staged here. And one thing I've realized about life is that like, People are so vulnerable and void to money. Everyone can, everyone is willing to take a bribe. And the only thing that keeps someone away from taking a bribe is their own integrity and moral virtue and moral compass, which is what humanity lacks as a whole. So we're all in trouble with this money thing. All right, money matters. It's like this person wants to connect you to a certain crime, something that will forever put you in lack or nothingness, like nothing, you are, you are unable to buy nothing for yourself, purchase anything for yourself and things like that. This person wants your life to fall apart here, all right? This is someone ruthless, someone that has no emotional uh, empathy, they do things out of spite, vengeance, tactics, strategies. And they've been trying to get you caught up for a while now. It's like this person has been looking into your life to see what they can utilize or which aspect of your life is more vulnerable so that they can tipple with it and find some form of a loophole to bring you down here. Let's tap in further to the layers of this energy. Let's talk to God further, all right? Let's dive deep here. It's like someone has been in your world, all right? Trying to hide in the shadows while planning to put you in, a, in this form of a compromising situation here.
It's like this person has people that work for them, all right? Already they're like a type of individual that they have an authoritative position, but they are very immature. Like this is someone who's truly not right in the vibe and they have emotional instability issues, all right? Emotional instability issues here. They're afraid of you. They're afraid of what you know. They're afraid of who you are. And they want to stop you from living the life that you are destined to live by staging a criminal activity offense and placing you in that vicinity as if you did something. And what's gonna happen then? Jail time, right? Your life is hindered, your life is stagnant. Now things are falling apart, which is exactly their aim and their intention. But again, gotta say that's never gonna happen. Cause like we've established here, this is someone that has been trying to do this for a long time. And they don't see any way, like any loophole that is able to suffice for these plans, these strategies here. As much as people are well paid, still things are not going as planned. The minute they try to destroy your life, things happen in such a way that they see favor going in your day instead of the demise that they try to place upon your life. Because this is the type of individual that they don't want to just, they want to put an end to who you are in a form of your whole identity. Like this is your whole life here. That's why I say someone ain't right in the mind. And someone's emotional instability is serious here. Like they ain't right. They can't process things globally. Like they just, someone's like, they're the type of person that is dependent on a lot of things for them to be okay, for them to feel good, for them to be in a certain vibration. They depend on things, things that serve them, things that cater to them, all right? This is someone that's used to money. They, they feel like because they're used to money, they know how to utilize it and they know how to get people where they want them with the money. So this person has been paying a lot of people, beloved, in the name of sacrificing you. Putting it into your identity. Killing your identity. This person has made serious decisions and choices to do this. Things that they can't, it's like things that can't be undone. I keep seeing the devil energy. It's like this person, they're paying so many people that, like, they feel like they're wasting their money. At this point, that's how they feel. They feel like the way in which things are going, it's clear that they might be wasting their time, their funds, all right? And it's clear that this whole situation is further putting this person in a sunken place. Like this person, their plan was to destroy your identity completely so that you can't even vindicate yourself or justify or have or claim justice upon your life. The plan was to severely scrutinize your individuality to the extent that you end up a beggar or something. So God is saying, understand, like certain people ain't right. They might look like they're okay just because they might have finances or any form of financial stability or an authoritative position, but those be the people that desperately need help. And I'm talking mental issues, emotional instability, lack of spiritual accountability, like just very lost. It's like this person, I'm picking up a weird energy where as much as this is what they want to do, all right, they try to conquer you and doing all these things with their strategies, their power tools, and their plans, right? They're going so far back to even your childhood trying to find something. But the weird thing is that 
as much as they want to obtain all of this and have this personal information and use it and bribe this one and hide this one, this person has so much love for you and there's someone that is not even capable of love. It's like a sick, twisted, like crooked type of a person that like they love and hate you and they they want you dead, they wanna they wanna be with you. Like someone is like someone ain't right here. It's like they want to connect with you, they, they want you to depend on them, and then at the same time they say they don't care about you, they want you dead, they want your life, they want your head on a silver platter, like Someone just ain't right here. And God is saying, this person's plans are going to be unsuccessful because they can't even do anything with what they've attained. Now that you know, all right, your awareness is saving you whether you realize it or not because it's putting you in a position to act accordingly and also putting you in a position to protect yourself. This person, their whole aim was to do this in utmost secrecy and discretion. Your awareness is saving you. You don't need to have the same about of money, pay people, blah, blah, blah. You knowing is enough. All right? And be cool to end your message here. This was your message from God. The big G-O-D. The biggest lotto. If you're keen or interested in what you be for my services, I do offer dream interpretations, love readings, spiritual path readings, as well as messages from God. I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions via Zoom call, FaceTime, Skype, as well as WhatsApp video call. A prayer a day keeps the devil away. Keep yourself prayed up in these dangerous times of envy and jealousy. Goodbye, see you again on the Prophetic Vessel Show.